let us have a discussion on elastic limit so before dealing with elastic limit uh, we have come across limits so what is meant by limits in maths we have seen that limits so limit extend to something value or limit extends to infinity we have uh, we even know that uh, speed limit uh, something limits city limits that limit means it's a fixed thing right so in the same way for example you are having a solid body or any material we are going to stretch it on the both the directions or we are going to apply something any load it may be tensile or compressive in this case we are going to apply tensile load uh, please forget about this tensile or uh, compressor load so we are going to stretch a body in such a way that in such a way that there is no change changes or alterations in its size and shape of the body so for example we are going to apply or stretch uniformly a body so what happens up to the limit we are going to stretch where the body doesn't have any changes or there is no alterations in the body there is no changes in the size and shape up to that particular limit is called elastic limit so let us have a discussion that is elastic limit the maximum extent to which a solid may be stretched without permanently alterations of size or shape and without being permanently deformed so as i as i told you we are going to apply the load on the both the sides so we are going to stretch the body up to a certain limit where there there are no changes or alterations in its size and shape that is elastic limit so the maximum extent to which a solid may be stretched without permanently de or permanently alterations of size or shape without being permanently deformed so the uh, the body doesn't deform so this is elastic limit the next very important concept in our lesson one is hooke's law so this hooke's law was uh, derived experimentally by robert hooke in year 1678 so what he 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 did in his experiment means he took a body he took a body and he loaded up to elastic limit so what is elastic elastic limit a body is stretched or uh, with without changes or alterations in the size and shape of the body so that uh, that limit is called so that uh, up to that limit he has loaded his specimen and he has conducted various experiments and he has found some results so this law was named or given after hooke's law so in order to give him respect or honor we have uh, this law was named as hooke's law so what is hooke's law so it was named after robert hooke who first established in his experiments in years 1678 when a material is loaded within elastic limit stress is proportional to strain as i told you he took a body up to a elastic limit he have found some experiments and he have found a result that stress is directly proportional or proportional to strain so when a material is loaded within elastic limit stress is proportional to strain so numerically it is uh, denoted as as we know stress is directly proportional to strain according to hooke's law so mathematically we can write as sigma is directly proportional to epsilon not so let me write there as directly proportional in order to remove directly proportional we must multiply this epsilon not with something constant so here we are going to assume sigma is directly proportional to epsilon not that is stress is directly proportional to strain sigma in order to remove the direct proportional we must add something constant to that right hand side so i am going to multiply with e e times sigma so sigma is equal sorry e is equal to sigma by epsilon not that is nothing but e is nothing but modulus of elasticity e is nothing but modulus of elasticity e is equal to modulus of elasticity whereas sigma is equal to stress by epsilon not so what is epsilon not here strain so according to hooke's law stress is directly proportional to strain in order to remove that uh, proportional we must add sorry we must multiply with some constant value so sigma is equal to e into epsilon not so e that is eng's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain stress divided by strain is called as modulus of elasticity this e is also known as eng's modulus so this e is also called as eng's modulus so this is hooke's law this hooke's law holds good for both tension and compression also 